Since in some northern California towns are struggling right now to deal with the power shutoffs. In Auburn, north of Sacramento, most businesses there are closed to customers. Some say they're now struggling to get enough fuel to keep their generators running. Others, though, say this is better than dealing with a devastating fire. We don't have any customers. Um, food, we have to move food. Uh, food. Um, so we're just trying to take care of the food. If I have to deal with this, it's better than being evacuated, I guess. But frustrations are running high. Some people had to drive 45 minutes just to find gas. Many schools are closed in the area because of the power shutoff. Fritz Coleman is tracking the timing of the winds here in Southern California in his first alert forecast. Fritz. Yes, ma'am. Well, the bottom line is the peak winds will happen during the day tomorrow, evolving to their strongest during your morning commute tomorrow, and lasting off and on at peak strength through your morning commute on Friday before they settle down. Now, those areas that are most likely for power outages are these. And again, it, it's not a guarantee, it's the areas that are most vulnerable. And most of these are the wildland interface areas, that is residences built in foothills that are most vulnerable to our breast fires, especially during Santa Ana season. City of Ventura, Camarillo, Moore Park, and Simi Valley. Then we look at LA County up in the Lancaster area, particularly the foothills south of there, Santa Clarita Valley, Valencia area, Sun Village, Pasadena, La Cañada, Malibu Hills, vulnerable, and in Orange County, the Rancho Santa Margarita area, all of the hills near the Santa Ana Mountains, North Tustin, City of Orange, with 7,000 customers that could be affected, and inland, Riverside, Beaumont, San Jacinto, Hemet, Menifee, Paris, Temecula, North Palm Springs, these are all near the Santa Ana Mountains, and all hilly, what we call the Wildland Interface Area, a total of 21,000 or slightly above customers, and in San Bernardino, Hesperia area, south end of the high desert near the north slope of the San Bernardino Mountains, Crestline, San Bernardino, Yucaipa, and Big Bear, all vulnerable up in those areas. Now, when I come back in a few minutes, we'll take a look at the three-day planner. We'll review the red flag warning and try to get you very aware of the intense fire danger we're about to come under between now and late in the day Friday. All that's coming up. We'll see you then.